Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys just got through watching White Boy Rick. It tells the story of a kid at the age of 14 got put on to the game and was the youngest to ever receive a life sentence. He got trialed as an adult. But it's a pretty good story, man. I don't want to tell you what goes on, but basically he turned out to be an informant, but then the people that he thought had his back, which was the feds, which he should have known better, didn't have his back. Basically, they set him up to take the downfall. He ended up having a, a kid by a black chick. What else is new? Uh, he ended up going to jail for almost 30 years. He got paroled in uh, 2017, if I'm not mistaken. And um, Matthew McConaughey played his dad. Matthew McConaughey was really good in this movie. You know, uh, Jennifer Jason Lee, a person I ain't seen since God knows when, she surfaced in this movie. She played uh, FBI agent. But it's a really good movie, man. I, I have to give credit. This is, this is a solid movie. Also tells you the tale of how easy it is, once again, for a white person to infiltrate the black community because basically it started off as basically he took some guns to sell in Detroit. His dad, Matthew McConaughey, was a small time arms dealer, you know, you know, so basically that's what it was. His dad was a small time arms dealer and then Rick basically took a couple of AKs to sell to some, you know, to some dudes, to some black dudes. And, you know, basically to make a long story short, they put him in the game and then that's how it all started. But a lot of stuff just, you know, trickled down as he gets deep in the dope game and stuff. And basically the FBI was sort of like the ones who put him on to selling drugs and shit. But of course, they basically acknowledge not doing a thing when it came to that so it just goes to show you how the feds get down but anyway i highly recommend this movie it's a pretty solid movie man so i'm out